In today's Consumer Confidential, Congress is now investigating the cost of natural disasters on property owners. Many private insurance companies, they've decided that covering homes that are in potential disaster zones is just too risky. Correspondent Jesse Turner has a story. This is an incredibly scary situation. Industry experts are sounding the alarm about homeowner insurance. The cost is going up while coverage shrinks or vanishes altogether. The insurance company is deciding to walk away from long-served communities and some states entirely. In recent years, many insurance companies have stopped covering property in disaster-prone areas of states like Florida, California, Texas, and Louisiana. And so we need a backstop. Douglas Heller, the director of insurance for the Consumer Federation of America says it's a particular problem with flood insurance. That's why Democrats like Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren are looking into how the federal government can step in. Without insurance, millions of families will be at greater risk for climate crises. Republicans like Texas Senator John Cornyn agree it's a challenge, but say it should not be solved at the federal level. I don't think the federal government should come in and subsidize uh, private homeowners insurance. Uh, I think that's something up to the homeowner. Jerry Theodoro, an insurance policy director with the R Street Institute, stresses the federal government has a poor track record of helping with insurance. The push to establish some sort of or to introduce some sort of federal backstop or support, however well-intentioned, would backfire. In Washington, I'm Jesse Chenor.